Hello everyone, welcome to another show of Relentless Reviews. I'm your host, Joshua Englander, and today I am reviewing a game that has been really out there for PC gamers for a few years now, but has finally become an official product, Team Mojang's Minecraft. So how can their extremely popular block building game turn out as a final product? Is building and surviving just as addicting as the beta was? Is this the must game that PC users have been waiting for? Well, it's time to find out. Let's check out the trailer. Let's go to a place where everything is made of blocks. Where the only limit is your imagination. Let's go wherever you want to go. Climb the tallest mountains. Venture down to the darkest caves. Build anything you want. Day or night, rain or shine. Because this is the most significant sandbox you'll ever set foot in. Build a majestic castle. Invent a new machine. Or take a ride on a roller coaster. Play with friends. Build your own little community. Protect yourself with the strongest armor that you can craft. And fight off the dangers of the night. No one can tell you what you can or cannot do. With no rules to follow. This adventure, it's up to you. All right, so before I begin the review, I just got to give credit to YouTube's own uh, Variety. Uh, sorry if I'm uh, mispronouncing that, uh, but YouTube's own Variety. I'll put a link in the description uh, to check out his channel. That was a great trailer, very well done. So my review of the final product of Minecraft. Now, this is the most addicting slash creative game I have ever, ever played. Now, t people will consistently argue with me about this, but the fact is, is that this game just has that ageless feel to it like I could play this game when I'm 60 years old it has that kind of feel there are two modes basically survival and creative now survival for me was a lot more fun and I think a lot of people will agree with that but let's talk about survival first uh, basically you're put into a random generated world uh, like it's random like it, it it's always gonna look different every time you have a new file um, and all these worlds are spectacular and the fact is that you basically have to in survival mode you have to build you uh, cr and craft to build your own homes, uh, you know, safe houses, whatever you want to call them, and uh, basically survive the day and night cycles of, particularly night cycles of enemies. And uh, it's just it makes you feel like how to survive back, it, like in the Stone Age. Like that's what it basically feels like, and it's immensely addicting. Like I, I have, I think that playing that game on survival mode was a lot more fun in part because of the fact that you really feel vulnerable, that you really need to build and craft and really have the motivation to do that. Uh, there's also creative mode, as I said. I, I didn't have quite the same motivation to play that, but it's still a lot of fun if you're someone who doesn't really feel like earning all the crafting and everything. You have everything right away that you can just build and think of whatever you want. You can build it because you'll have everything. Uh, also, multiplayer is insane. Now, granted, there are some patches to be had for the multiplayer. It's not always the easiest to get into. But when you can get your friends online, it is the most insane multiplayer I've played on the PC. Like seriously, you two combine even just one of us uh, playing that game is insane enough. But when you have more than one person playing and building on something, not only is the uh, pacing a lot faster, but it's just much more fun. And it's obviously a way to show off some of your best creations that your imagination can put forward to your friends online. And I think that's so rewarding and so satisfying to feel. And the multiplayer, like it, like I said, it's still a, a ton of fun, and it's easily in itself extremely, extremely addicting. Also, now, some people might be surprised by this. I actually love the graphics in Minecraft. Now, granted, obviously, the graphics have no uh, comparison to Crisis 2, Battlefield 3, Modern Warfare 3, Skyrim, whatever you want to call it. But that's not really the point. This, these graphics are like the way they are for a reason. They complement the game perfectly because it's all about block building and crafting. And if it was built on an engine like the Frostbite 2 engine, it would be not nearly as addicting. The fact that it's easy on the eyes, it doesn't strain you to play the game, also is a huge reason. And the graphics, like I said, they're perfect for this kind of game. So I, in that sense, I absolutely love them, and I don't think they could have come up with a better graphic system for this game. Also, the sound. Now, there isn't epic music playing. There isn't you know, amazing gunfire you can hear, like in Battlefield 3, obviously. But the sound is also perfect for this game. There's very little music, but when it happens, it really is 
almost creepy in a sense. Like you really feel, like I mentioned before, vulnerable, and it really makes you feel like you're alone in this huge, huge random generated world, and it gives you just more motivation to play the game. Also, the monsters, the zombies, the spiders, whatever you fight, uh, they all have great, sound great. They sound really nasty. They sound like a true bad enemies that you need to kill. Uh, so, I mean, look, the, it's, the sound is absolutely perfect for the game that this has to be. This isn't a blockbuster, action-packed, epic game like Battlefield 3, Modern Warfare 3, whatever. It's supposed to be its own, and it's supposed to be innovative. And in that sense, the sound and the graphics are both perfect, and they completely complement this game in the way that I had always hoped they would be. The only slight negative, and I say slight because I really don't think for most people this is a big deal. There is no in-game tutorial. So, which basically means if you're someone who's new to Minecraft, when you play it for the first time, you're going to have no idea what to do. Certainly, I didn't know what to do. But the fact is, is that you can still go on the web, uh, go to forums, and there'll be someone likely who will answer your questions and what, whatever you might need. So, overall, this game is just, it's so innovative. It's so amazing to play. Yes, the graphics aren't like Battlefield. Get over it. The graphics are perfect. I love them. I love the sound. I love just about everything about this game. And I think it does deserve a perfect 10. That's right, a perfect 10. This game has everything for me. It, for an indie game, it is beyond whatever you could have ever hoped for. And Team Mojang has done a spectacular job over the last few years putting out these alpha and beta formats to really give get feedback from the community to really tell of what works and what doesn't. And that really shown in the final product and I seriously I can't wait till they make a sequel to this game honestly it, I think it's gonna blow our minds but this game is amazing and you have to if you have a PC you have to buy it there is no question about it so that's another show for relentless reviews please remember to subscribe as always and also remember to check out my website www.relentlessreviews with a Z at the end not an S dotwebs.com. Thank you so much for watching, everybody.